Please welcome to the stage the hosts of Jocular, Kick ER Fightmaster, Katie Kershaw, and Jean Tran. Oh! to be here. It's so gorgeous today. It's beautiful. You guys, I brought ice. Okay, yeah. Thank you. They okay, did I'm pour gonna... us neat and... We said we wanted We're not neat. strong We're enough. not strong enough. We were kind of pretending to be different people than we are. Yeah, we're yeah. trying to be tough and we're really not like that. No, yeah. but Jess is tough. Yeah, Jess is tough. That's just in case. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we tell the people who we are and yeah. what we're doing? Uh, you guys, hi. My name is ER Fightmaster. Um... Thank you. Woo! <laughs> I use uh, they, them pronouns, and uh, my son is in middle blocker, my rising is in tight end, and my moon is in hockey enforcer. Oh, wow. Thank you. Very nice. Wow, I see that for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Tian Tran. Uh, my pronouns... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my pronouns are she, her, and I identify as a winger, soccer, uh, my my rising is in um, I would say center back, mm -hmm. and my moon is getting yelled at by my dad after playing poorly in a game. Wow! Yeah, yeah it right. really it really that's me. That's beautiful. We've <laughs> all all been there. My name is Katie Kershaw. My pronouns are she her. Uh, my son is in point guard. Uh -huh. uh, my moon is in bench warmer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my rising is snack stand. Okay. Katie. Katie. It's the truth. That's that's like someone saying Virgo for every part of that. <laughs> <laughs> You're being really vulnerable. I'm being very too vulnerable. I'm very vulnerable and very honest about where I am with my athletic background. Wow. And you know what? That's As a powerful. host of a sports podcast. Yes, we are we are the hosts of a sports <laughs> podcast. That's right. You know, we're three queer best friends who just love talking everything women's sports and mm -hmm. not just stats. You know? Honestly, barely stats. Barely stats, no, honestly. No, we can't really. We have, we're, if we're honest, we can't really uh, do math. No. 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 No, numbers are hard. Numbers are really hard. We like the culture. Who's dating who? Mm -hmm. who's, who's wearing what? Who's doing what? Who's doing what? <laughs> the, the amount of the pictures of Kim Mulkey's suits in our text threads, insane. It's mainly it's that. And we just had an insane game. I don't know if anyone was watching. Yes. South Carolina, LSU. And Kim Mulkey, a fight breaks out at the end. Spoiler alert. Kim Mulkey is wearing this blazer. Can you describe it? It's a studded gem blazer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, some of the warmer colors of the color palette. And there's a fringe feather on the end of her sleeves. So imagine like... You're trying to protect your teammate. You're about to like bump up to someone and you see this arm coming out of your peripheral and it's just feathered sleeves holding like you back. Lavender feathers. It looked like a bird was being murdered in the middle of see, the fight. I liked it. I thought it was giving like not everyone can do pastel. No. No, no, and she can't. And not everyone can do pastel and pull off authority. Yes, and she <laughs> did it. Flawlessly. The amount that she terrifies me while having that wardrobe. Yes. Remarkable. It's remarkable. It's so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something about seeing her in a, a, like a light shade of blue sends me into a tizzy as in I'm terrified. Oh, not in like a hot way. No, not in a hot way, but I, she'd probably okay. yell at me. No, it's, she's giving kind of like mean Sunday school teacher energy yes but you know what you learned you, you learned i can like recite right the books of the easter, bible right after easter sunday yes 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 yes. you yes. memorize <laughs> that verse yeah miss <laughs> darla's gonna come down and make sure you've got it all top to bottom <laughs> you guys is uh is austin everything you thought it would be you this is your first time here it's right? my first time in austin and it's gayer than i thought it would be like yes. i knew it was yeah. going to be gay but 100%. it is somehow so maybe we're only going to the gayest places i think we might be but it's pretty gay or it's maybe we're going gay. there and gay people are flocking i i feel like a little misled like i came here thinking it'd be like cowboys but it's all like butches yes <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if that's just where we are it but could I, be I where, we are. where we are but as a lesbian i felt very excited to get here and go show me the meat barbecue <laughs> 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 and we did right away. And we did right away. It was an amazing barbecue. Yeah, we all housed that meat. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. 
No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the lights are out. We can still do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so last night, I don't know if you guys saw the amazing uh, Tennessee and um, Iowa. Uh, Iowa. No. no, no, no. Sorry, my brain is South Carolina. Tennessee and South Carolina. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Lee Cordosa made the last shot. Mm -hmm. Have you ever in your life been asked to do a, a high pressure shot in a sports sporting event? I was not that person. Like every time I was asked to do a high pressure sh like pressure shot, I can remember that I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I have like recurring nightmares of like completely and totally unguarded fast breaks. Uh -huh, like uh -huh. just where like the layup was like right there and I was like, "Huh?" Now would be a good time to put the ball in the bleachers. <laughs> <laughs> I was the same. But you have a good story. I mean, I do have a good... Well, bef if you bring up penalty... I played soccer growing up. If you bring up penalty kicks to my family, they, are always, they will always be like, remember that big one you missed, Teeny? No. Yes. No. Teeny? Yes. Teeny. And also says what? it says it that way, and then and then immediately puts me down by saying my wow. name in a diminutive fashion. Remember that goal you missed, Teeny? But I did one time in like a high school championship, scored the game winning goal. And I thought it was gonna be one of those moments where I get to like, I don't know, take off my shirt like Brandy Chastain style. But I scored a goal, winning, winning goal, run towards, the, run towards my teammates. My teammates run past me <laughs> and start to get in a fight with the other team. Okay, nightmare. Why? Nightmare scenario. Which is the opposite of your dream. It is the opposite of my dream. Yeah. I've always just wanted my friends to celebrate with me. Yeah, your friends. You my friends, you my friends, my a crushes. Soccer team. <laughs> and one day they will. I know, I'm hoping so. Okay, Katie? so I don't, have, I don't have a sports example, but I do have a speech team example. It's a sport. That is a sport. That's a sport. So I did speech team all through middle school and high school, and I was like the team captain at one point. And there was somebody on the team who couldn't, come because she was busy had to go to a wedding or something so my coach was like we can't move this lose the spot mm -hmm. and so because we want to qualify for state so katie memorize this speech and then you'll just add that category <laughs> for the week and i was like absolutely you got it of course i didn't read the speech no no katie. katie the entire week i did not do you even remember the topic yes it was i still do it was a speech given by, well, I don't know the topic, a speech given by a uh, former Secretary of Treasury for Ronald Reagan, Catherine D. Ortega. In, uh, that, is, that was the speech I was going to guess. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was exactly the one that and, I was going to say. And why did Priya pick that one? I'll never know. So I uh, get to the competition, mm -hmm. and I just, instead of just being like, Coach, I can't do it. I didn't memorize it. I don't know anything. I remembered my sister's screensaver which said, don't let, <laughs> don't let weeds grow around your dreams. And then for three rounds, I improvised a speech <laughs> as if it was given by the Secretary of Treasury, <laughs> Catherine D. Ortega, based on that one screensaver quote. And then I won the entire wow. tournament. No. I got first, I went to semifinals, I went to finals, and then they are handing me because they give you like the uh, like piece of like cardboard that says like everyone's like who's making it to finals, and they give you your trophy, which I still have. And they're like Katie Kershaw, first place. Kevin D. Ortega. Like they read the whole thing, and I start weeping because I'm a fucking fraud. <laughs> <laughs> and pardon my language. And um, but it, 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 was it was true. It was true. It was true. And the coach was sitting next to my mom, and my mom knew that I had done nothing, nothing at all. But she's not a snitch. So the coach was like, oh, my God, Katie has worked so hard. She's busted her butt this week. She's done everything. Like, look at her. She just can't hold it in. And my mom was like, and neither could I because I started laughing. Does she know now? No, no. She, if, uh, Miss Maggard, if you're listening, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I, Secretary of Treasury. Catherine D. Ortega, If I'm you're sorry. listening, you should sue Katie. But no, For <laughs> also, I made that speech better. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know, that, how old were you? Uh, I was probably 13. So uh, I'm going to say genius. A wow. genius 13-year-old improvising. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> solving, <laughs> solving U.S. economic Absolutely. issues. Absolutely. <laughs> you made that speech better. <laughs> I have no... I blacked out. I have no idea what I said besides Catherine D. Ortega and don't let weeds grow around your dreams. Katie. Yep. So it's, that's my sports story. I saved the day. 
I made the shot. I feel like I was so vulnerable with you guys. I was like, I really had some like bad memories, and you guys were like, here's here's when I dunked on the president. <laughs> <laughs> What president would you want to dunk on? Who? I, for some reason, my first thought was like, immediately, I was like, Bill Clinton. Me too. Really? Yes. I was like, I hope he's holding a saxophone, then I'll dunk on him. Whoa. I know mine was James Buchanan. I thought it was going to be Taft. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's time we bring up our guests. We obviously have a fourth drink out here. We yes. have a fourth chair. I cannot wait. Uh -huh. uh, we are we are bringing to the stage today a good friend of ours. This is Jessica Robertson. She co-founded Together <laughs> Alongside. <laughs> Please give it up for Jessica Robertson. The I had to enunciate. I'm, ch I'm like choking on my own lungs today. I um, love that there's no ice. In this, well, I brought we, you one you said, piece of You said ice, neat. Because you neat. said neat. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay good. Good, good, okay, good, 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 good. Listen. Um, Jessica is the co founder of Together, um, which is an incredible company run alongside gold medalists Alex Morgan, Sue Berg, Chloe Kim, and Simone Manuel, and then was founded in 2020. Mm -hmm. I've got a question for you because I feel like Together does so much, mm -hmm. and I'm often asked because I've had the pleasure of working with you all before yeah. what it is. If you were to give me the elevator pitch for Together, what is it? And, and then I want like the escalator version. You can slow it all down. And Jess, before you go, we're going to add a little bit of a drinking game element to it, mm -hmm. okay? So as you explain what Together does, mm -hmm. we will drink every time you say amplify mm -hmm. or intersect okay. or investment That's a lot. or queer or visibility. visibility. You're going to be real drunk. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's Where's go. The water? Okay. okay, here and, we go. And for right. our young fans down here, is apple juice. This is absolutely <laughs> apple fresh apple juice. apple juice. Yep. Don't you wear your little hearts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Jess. All right, what is uh, together? What is together? Okay, we're starting with the elevator pitch. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You, you don't have to, to drink if you don't want yeah. to. Well, I'd love to drink. Okay, yeah. then drink, please. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Because that wasn't true. We would have forced you. Yeah. <laughs> the elevator pitch for together is that it's a media company that tells female athlete stories. Nope, no, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. We We're waiting. Put, we should have put stories. We should have put yeah. stories. Yeah, but Damn. Not there. We should have put female athlete <laughs> stories. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, next. the longer version yes. of Together mm -hmm. is Together was founded originally um, by Alex Morgan, Sue Bird, Chloe Kim, and Simone Manuel for the greatest athletes in the entire world in 2020, as ER mentioned, um, with the mission to take female athletes from the margins and center them through storytelling every single day. Not just around big tentpole events like the World Cup or the Olympics, which are coming up, mm -hmm. but to do it every single day. Because in the women's sports space, if I can be a nerd about it just a little please, bit. Please, nerd out. Please, please. Give you the context for the sports space. Um, in 2021, whenever Together launched, of 100% of sports media coverage, only 4% of that was dedicated to women's sports visibility. <laughs> okay. If you're only 4%. telling 4%, 4%. 4%. It's, it's about 16% now. Oh, thank God. So we're thank saying, goodness. Yeah, not passing yet. Progress is mm -hmm. slow but happening. Mm -hmm. um, if you're only telling 4% of those stories, um, it's really hard to build an audience or a community in the space. Or if you work at a team or a league to put butts in seats. Mm -hmm. And if brands don't believe there's a massive audience to reach, it's not worth their ROI, so they don't show up in the space and invest in any meaningful way. Yep. Invest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if there's no... <laughs> Ooh. This jacket's going to come off. Yeah. 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 I'll get a good. little warm. Yeah. yeah. And if there's no investment from brands, there's no dollars on the table to be had, oh, gosh. then legacy media companies aren't going to tell these stories mm -hmm. because they aren't going to make any money off of it. They think. So Together was launched with the mission to radically disrupt that vicious cycle to center women athletes and to drive investment into the women's sports space. Cheers. Cheers to that. That's real good. Cheers. Apparently, it's all about investment. That's what I'm hearing. This it's part the of only it. word I heard, yes. investment. That, and, and because of that, you have, like, Together has grown so much. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I was asked this question whenever we were launching Together. Um, I was asked two questions, actually. One, will you move to L.A.? which I lived in New York for 15 years, and that was the most terrifying question anyone could have asked me, and I did. I, I wound up moving to L.A. to launch together. 
Congratulations. Yes, yes congrats. That's I'm still adjusting. Out there. I'm adjusting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll it's been get you four there. years. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <That's worth laughs> um, and then the second question was like, what are you afraid of? And my answer, which I'm always sort of ashamed to say, was that no one will care. This was in 2021, the 4% visibility stats, an important one. Visibility, you guys. Oh, visibility, sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Wow. Ah. Whoa, feeling it right <laughs> yeah. to my head. It's also that 100% of sports media sponsorships, only 0.4 of that was dedicated to women's sports. Mm -hmm. Like 0.4. So the landscape in which we would be launching into, and you see this boom and bust cycle happening in women's sports, I was nervous. I was like, yeah. are people yeah. really going to care every day this time? Or are they just going to care around these big tentpole moments? Mm -hmm. But in the three years that we've uh, been live to the world, we doubled our revenue year over year. As of January 1st, we are a profitable media company, which oh, yeah. feels Woo! like no one really yeah! says. Woo! We are the largest and fastest growing women's sports media brand uh, on all of social. We have the highest engagement rate. We have sold projects to Netflix and ESPN and Amazon. We have a big documentary coming out on Amazon in June, uh, which I can talk more about. Um, mm. And more than anything, we are serving to be a see it, be it brand in the way that we originally intended to be. Okay, that's exciting in so many different ways. What is your background? Like, what, what drove you into women's sports? Yeah, did you play sports growing up? I played basketball and softball. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. you did. Okay, yeah, you did. And I have a twin sister, so it was... Oh, my God, so you're competitive as hell. Wildly yeah. competitive. And did you both play the same? We did. <gasps> no. We, we no. liked... Ugh. Well, we would, like... I was a pitcher and she was a catcher. Okay, the would, perfect family story. Yeah. You know, and we would fight on the mound. Like, if I was having a bad game, like, if I wasn't pitching very well, and she was having to, like, chase. It's summer. It's hot. I'm from the south. She was miserable. She would come out, and we just get in a fight on the mound, like, so angry at each other. I'm like, I'm doing what I can. But in basketball, it was fun because people would get confused about who they were supposed to guard. Perfect. Oh, my God. That's so one amazing. of us was open You're actually that real-life version of that Disney movie. Yeah, it's that... a great movie. Yeah. What was it called? Wait, what? do you know what Disney movie I'm talking about? I famously about? didn't have Disney as a child. <laughs> oh. And we can get into that later. Okay. But no, but, I don't but know. There's, like, an actual, like, WNBA player. like In that movie? No, that, that like, had, was, like, twins. Justine always knows this stuff. Who was the... Who it was... It was yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's the movie? Double Teamed was the movie. Oh, double Teamed is the movie. Questionable name for that <laughs> yeah, movie. Yeah. Suggestive. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Super suggestive. But you know, that kind of, like, when you were telling me the story, I immediately was, like, a little rosy-cheeked. So, like, Double Teamed actually feels appropriate. Yeah, that feels yeah. great. Are you Thank rosy you to that audience. Are you rosy-cheeked because of the whiskey? That, too. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I was a lifelong athlete. The 96 Olympics were a really sort of a formative memory Same. for me mm -hmm. yes um it was maybe the most important year in women's sports history that was the first time i saw like female athletes competing at that level mm -hmm. all the american women winning gold and thinking i could be an olympian wow now i happen to work for four olympians mm -hmm. and i but it was yeah it was a very big cb moment for me but i i wound up studying music business in college and my first job in college i moved to new york as a journalist for rolling stone Okay, That's a so cool you've been a badass from the jump. Jeez. Okay. My, my yes. first job was babysitter. My Yeah, my first job, I think, was like babysitter and soccer coach. Oh, yeah. Those I, are my two. Yeah, I, what's your, what's your yeah. coaching style? Is it like Gino? Is it like Kim? Is it... I play heavy favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Participatory award. Yeah, I play imme immediately heavy favorites, pit each other, pit, pit, my, pit my little players against each other. Survivor. Survivor style. No, I was, I was like probably too... Too nice. I like let everyone play. I did. The I feel same like thing. you did the same thing. I know. I know. I know. You didn't care about winning. No, obviously. I just wanted people oh, wait, to get a good time. We kids have a good time. The team wasn't. Our, my personal team was not good enough that winning was going was like a major option. So I was gonna let the bad ones play. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna have a bad like the the worst ones on the bad team not, not get play. to play too. Like yeah. what no, we, that is that no, is that's really fair. Mean. I don't know if anyone will ever get better with that mentality, but it is very fair. I'm kidding. I like your coaching style. <laughs> no, and when I coach <laughs> speech team, um, I only the only the best. You just heckle. Like, yeah. 
I feel like, how do you get better at speech team? Are you like pretend audience and you just heckle the yeah, entire Yeah, you give time? insane notes to break yeah. them down. You yell at Your them? Your hand was shaking. What was that you about? Throw like, what do you do? No, you I it. think you truly, you just break them down to their core. Really? Yeah. So, 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 so you're, you have like a Russian oh, so, gymnastics So one thing energy. about Jess and I, we're both Kentuckians, mm. and Kentuckians are very intense mm. about anything competitive, especially sports, mm -hmm. but... Of any chance of a competition, at least it is. If you're not good at it, you shouldn't be doing it. Move on. Do something else. Yeah, I'm here to win. Yeah, exactly. There's really no other. <laughs> <laughs> that was how I was raised, though. That was how I was raised. You it's guys. Kentucky basketball. Kentucky basketball yes. is everything. But can I say who you were a fan of? If you want to tell all my secrets, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Ooh. Um, so I remember being in kindergarten and walking in and our class having a discussion about how much we hated Duke and Christian Leitner. Like, I rem have oh, that yeah. moment. I mean, everybody just like, yeah. Yeah, we hate Duke. That's how I was raised. <laughs> but I do think you might be a Duke fan. I don't lead with that. <laughs> um, you're, you're outing her. I you am. are. I, am. I asked permission. You are. You did. I'm also a Lady Vols fan. Um, I, so am I. Yes. So am I. Pat Summit. Yeah, oh, forever. Forever and see, always. Getting forever to see and her always. coach was... I could uh, tear up. It was unbelievable. She still, was the first person that made me think, like, wow, a suit on a woman, powerful. <laughs> Orange suit on a woman. Orange more suit on powerful. more powerful. I, j I just watched a documentary about her, like, and it, it was some younger years stuff, and I straight up was like, am I crushing on Pat Summit? Yeah, yeah you, you are. are. Like, you I, are. Like, yeah. Just gorgeous. I always think of her as kind of like my father, but I didn't realize that she was actually daddy. She is. There it is. Oh. She is daddy. That is. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, it's just so bold and I think awesome and fascinating that you were a Duke fan. I love it. I, I, love I vividly it. remember the Christian Leitner moment. I was with some of my family. We were camping of all places. We had like an RV with like one of those like satellite antenna TVs with the foil on it. Because my entire family, like wild wildcat fans, like rabid. And we're Go watching Cavs. the game, and I remember just like, like sort of like cheering against Kentucky, but for no real reason, probably because they're all cheering and it's obnoxious to me. <laughs> and it's like the end of the game, and like what was it, one point? I forget how many seconds around the clock. And Christian Leitner gets the pass and turns and hits the shot, and I stand up and I'm like screaming and I'm celebrating. I'm like, and all my family, like the men in my family, just like fell to the ground and were crying. <laughs> It, it Tears. Is. That's you. That That's is. Kentucky basketball. Wow. Kentucky basketball is, is unlike. I mean, I know there's a lot of fandoms, and I, yes. I. But it's a truly a special thing. Since then, lifelong Duke fan. Good for you. Yeah. Mike Shashevsky, Pat Summit. My wow. Part wow. Of my wow. Much more. wow. Your mom wow. and dad. Mom and dad. <laughs> They kind of look alike. Yeah. I, I think this is leading us into... I feel like we have I, I to. Do too. I do, too. To. Okay, since we're going so much coach talk, I think we should play one of our games here. I'm excited for you. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> excited for you on this I'm, one as well. If we could have our game pulled up. Yes. Um, we're going to be playing a version of... We're gonna call it kill. We're gonna we're no, gonna be no no no. We're not, definitely not gonna. You, you would no. know it as. It's gonna be marry, chill, or ghost. ghost. Yes. Okay. We'll show you three coaches. Mm -hmm. We're gonna show you three coaches, and Jess, you have to decide who you would marry, mm -hmm. who you would chill with, and who you're who gonna are ghost. You ghosting. Who are you not gonna respond to, and run away when you see them? I know. We put you in a All tough. Right. Are we ready? Are we ready? First okay, slide. first slide. This is hard hitting. Okay. okay. Mary Chill or Ghost, Lisa Bluter, Niel Ivy, or Lindsay Gottlieb. Okay? Mary Chill. Mary ghost. Chill Ghost. What do you think? An what do you think? I feel like this is all on the record and I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good. good. That's, That's good. good. We well, want to what feel if, unsafe. What if, what, if, yeah. what, if at one, what if on the count of three, we all say who we'd marry from this? Oh, I, I already know. Okay. I know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Let's go. Go, go. Yeah. Mary Chill Ghost. Let's go. Mary, Mary Chill Ghost, go. I'm marrying Neil. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. I'm chilling with Lindsay and I'm <gasps> ghosting Lisa. <gasps> no! Wow. You're going to ghost Lisa Bluter? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because for me, I'd marry Lisa Bluter. Oh my gosh. Some, so like, some, 
Okay, I guess I'm the only one who wants no, to marry I, I Lisa do, Fluter. I want, I want to chill with Lisa more than anything. Okay. I do really want to chill with Lisa. But like, as a social experiment? Like, what? Like yeah, kind of. Kind of. I don't know what like, it is. Like, I just, why? Like, why? <laughs> Lisa, I'm sorry if you're listening. No, I just feel like she's got the face of someone who makes a good potato salad and we're going to hang out. So does Pat Summit. That's yeah. yeah. why I, know. I want to marry I Lisa Fluter. Is it the I, hair? Niel is, it is the hair. It's giving, you have ants that look like this. You know I have yeah. I know you do, because so do I. Yes, I yes. Know. No, I know. I, but I think Pat Summit has a, had a little more kill in her eyes. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm saying chill. Like murder, yeah. And, and Lisa's, Lisa has a, more of a, like, a kindness. Like, I actually don't think Pat Summit could make giving, a, a mean potato. That's giving kindness? That's kindness? I'm telling that's you, I'm saying kindness. through, through that's the eyes. That's giving kindness to through me. Through the eyes. This is not potato. Like, Pat no. Summit's not potato salad. This is potato salad. You have to have some kindness to make potato salad. That's, That's why I'm marrying That's Lisa fair. Bluter, I'm so I can have the best like yeah. casserole at the family Thanksgiving. Yeah. No, I want to marry Neil because I want that on my arm. I mean, Are you gorgeous. serious? Yes. Same. Marrying I want that Neil. on my arm. Yeah. Yeah, forever. Okay, fine. But I don't want to. I don't want to go Scotly, but I might. You have can. To. You're gonna have to change your mind here. Are you serious? She's amazing. She's I know phenomenal. the best. She's she's phenomenal. Wow. I'm not saying I don't love her, but can I say no? To my aunt Susie, I don't you can. know. That's fair. That's fair. Can it's I? Say, you have that leadership quality where, like, I and once you said your answers and you were like, you have to choose this. I was like, and so those are my answers. Did I just scare you? Did <laughs> I scare you into the answer? Well, first of all, I obviously liked it, but it was. I was like assured. It was like yes. this is the right path forward. I love that you're drinking without the keywords. I'm sorry. So messed up. I mean, I think just I'm just drinking, drinking, thinking about my life with Lisa Bluter. <laughs> Tn queer amplify intersectional investment. Thank you. All right, is it time to go on to next our next Can we go to our next, next slide? I'm excited. Okay, now Jess, uh, this A little one. bit of a different game. Yeah, this one. This one we need to know <laughs> who's daddy, who's son, and who's brother. Okay. It, it felt <laughs> obvious to us, and yes. I, I actually hope it's that really you obvious. It feels really obvious, yeah. So we're excited to see who you think is daddy, brother, or son. son. With Kevin McGuff, Gino Ariema, and Vic Schaefer. I, I'll be shocked. I know. Gino is daddy. Oh, yes! Gino, Gino is daddy! There was no world in which Gino was going to be son. No. <laughs> no. no. Or, or brother. brother. No, no. no, Gino is daddy. Yeah. If it had been stepbrother, it would be a different conversation. <laughs> yes. No, this is daddy. No, Gino is daddy. Gino is daddy. Gino's daddy. Okay. Who's son? Kevin. Really? Kevin's oh, son. Oh, wow. Okay, why? His haircut. I yes. don't know. <laughs> that haircut is really... <laughs> I, I don't have any cut. other information except that. Because he was like, I'm going to experiment with the Clippers and just see what it's happens. Like, it's giving I did it myself. Yeah, I did it, it myself. Is, yeah, I it did it. I watched a YouTube video the and cut scissors, my own hair. They weren't sharp enough. <laughs> but I get But it. I kept going. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> but that's that's the brother quality to me. You know when your well, brother yeah. would like walk into a room no, and he I had done something stupid with himself and he was like proud of it and you're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> You know what I mean? There was a press conference where I was watching where both of his hands were just kind of like under under the table. Oh, yeah. And that felt very brotherly to me as well because I, I don't think I would let my son do that. I think there would be a little bit more power in the stance. A hundred percent. Like a press conference like this for coaches and his yeah, hands are like... But his was just like... Brother. But See, amazing I like this coach. I like son. I'm, I'm with you. Okay. No, okay. I feel like I walk into the bedroom and I see that yeah. haircut he gave himself. He, That's my son. <laughs> You're like, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, go put a hat on before we go outside. That's I'm my embarrassed son. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well so then. So Vic Schaefer is, is your, your brother. brother. He'd be a good time. Yeah. See, that's giving me toddler. <laughs> That's giving me my, my three-year-old son. I mean, we didn't do Vic a service by choosing that. No, of photo. course we didn't, but we did. But we did. We did, and I, we, we did. did it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, were, you were leading the witness. We were. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got another one for you. We have Slide one more. Three. We have one more. This is our favorite one. We're so excited about this one. <gasps> okay, and fight. would you like to explain fight, please this Please explain game? this one. <sighs> okay, this one is kiss, whisper, scream. <laughs> Which of these coaches do you want to kiss you softly on the cheek? Whisper <laughs> the softly cheek. in Just your on ear. The cheek. Or scream in your goddamn face. And here we have Tara Von Devere, Don Staley, or Kim Mulkey. Kiss, whisper, scream. Kiss, whisper, scream. And you can say kiss, whisper, scream if you want to. It's really fun. Kiss, whisper, scream. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like yes. That. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'd like to amplify that game. Yeah. 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 Very queer. <laughs> Wow. Okay. 
I kind of want Kim Mulkey to scream in my face. Yes, yeah. you yeah. do. That's the only yeah. I, that is the that I is the correct. That's the Gino that. Daddy of this slide. <laughs> we all know it. I need to experience that. <laughs> Don, I want Don to kiss my cheek. Yeah. 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 No, I agree with that. I've never heard Tara yell, so I feel like it sh I'm only getting a whisper. Really? Oh, I think Tara is gonna whisper your darkest insecurities. <laughs> into your ear. She knows all my secrets before I tell her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but see, that's why mine were flipped. Really? What? I wanted, I want Tara to scream in my face. Really? I do. I want an experience that I don't think a lot of people get. <laughs> <laughs> and I want Kim to whisper to me softly. Okay. Wow. Okay. And I want Don to kiss me because Don it Yeah, also, Don kiss. Daddy. Don kiss. Don yeah. kiss. Yeah, yeah, Don yeah. Don kiss One for thing sure. leads to another. And yeah. And here we are, engaged. <laughs> You're married. <laughs> We're married. Yeah. yeah this she's... is visibility. This, <laughs> this is visibility. You can is... come over to me and Lisa Bluter's Thanksgiving. I feel like you and Tara would have a really successful relationship. Me and Tara? Yeah. Who owns more sweater vests? You were Tara. <laughs> you were Tara. Wow. Well, no, oh my God. No, actually, Tara and I would have a really beautiful, because we would be sharing sweater vests. And. I would do the dishes and the laundry for her, without a doubt. Yeah. She would expect it. She would expect it. She I, would, I would do the laundry and have everything folded for Tara Van Der Veer immediately. Sometimes when like hardcore misogyny comes in the direction, like from coaches, mm -hmm. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Like, okay, I guess I would be. I would obviously be Tara's wife. Like, yes. yes. Not she. Her. Don't consider myself wifey material. I'm. I am yes. this woman's wife. Yeah, and you're taking that name. <laughs> yes, yeah. I am. You're E.R. Von Der Veer. E.R. E e Von Der Veer. Uh, oh, the only name I've ever thought of that could be stronger than your own legal name. Thank you. Yeah. E.R. Von Der Veer. Okay, I feel like we have time for one last little thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, we ask this question to, to every single one of our guests. Yes. Um, we, as a, as, as a podcast, are very obsessed with power slapping, yeah. which is a... <laughs> Which is surprisingly a is a sport where you just stand sh like across a table and you take turns <laughs> slapping incredible. each other. Now, Jess, who in this world would you want to be power slapped by? And we can give you some of our answers as inspo if you need it. Give but me I some of your answers while I think. Okay. Uh, Rachel Weiss. Was wow. Mine. But specifically Rachel Weiss and I, I, the favorite. And I think she was in The Mummy when I was growing up. Yeah. And, and that was like formative for me. Is that your yeah. root? Maybe? And what? Is that your root? Probably. My root. Yeah. yeah, like the root that made you be like, wow, I'm gay. Yeah, because I guess I did consider myself more like the guy in The Mummy. And I was like, well, I would have to protect my whole family too, and I want to wear that little vest. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, mine is the actress Cherry Jones, <laughs> specifically in the Broadway production of Doubt. Wow. Um, yep. <laughs> Uh, mine is Michelle Yeoh, specifically from Crazy Rich Asians, because oh she God. looks like she really wanted to slap someone and she didn't get a chance to. Yeah. So. And I would volunteer myself. Yeah. Jess, I let's think hear mine it. is Kate Blanchett. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, solid. Yes. Wow. As, as solid. solid as Tar. As yes. Tar. Yes. Yes. As tar. Wow. Yes. That's the best because yes. she would slap you in rhythm. <laughs> I. Have She's a door <laughs> conductor. Well, yeah, we know what. Okay, sorry. What, what I'm, sorry I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have not been disappointed by a slap answer yet. No, no they're all everyone's solid. been so good. It's We're so, there's something solid. so core about it. Everyone's answering like really honestly in a beautiful way. I, f I felt it. Yeah, yeah you could yeah. feel that. It slap. took me a minute, but then wow, I felt I felt it. Well, Jess, you have been an amazing guest. We, we, it we, has we, been we such a, gift a for pleasure. You. Yeah, we, before you leave, we have one last gift one for you. One little gift for you. Now, you're, you're going to think, that these, we, these gifts look affordable. Did we get them at 7-Eleven last night? We no. did. No, no we, we had we these didn't. imported. It was the CBS. We made an investment into our <laughs> podcast and got these gifts for you. So this is a, an enormous inflatable SmackDown oh. bot bag. Oh, my God, I love and this. And we, we wanted to blow that up for you, but we thought, no, you're going to need to pack it. You're going to need to pack it, and you don't want to deflate <laughs> it. <laughs> I, yeah. this, this is my carry-on. Yeah, that's you what's know, right in the carry-on. You know I'm a boxer. Oh, oh we got to have you back on the pod. We got to have you back. We got to have you back on the pod. We need to talk. We need this more time. Perfect. Okay, yeah, we and need more time. 
We need more time. And then we got you this incredible slaps. Slaps. <laughs> you got slapped by Blanchett. <laughs> yeah. Tamarind blue. So thank these you, are guys. these are guests. Thank you so thank much. You. For thank coming. you. Give it up for Jess. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Woo! She wants to get slapped by Kate Blanchett. Yeah. <laughs> Make it happen. Okay, okay, we'll do our best. We uh, we don't actually know her. We don't actually know her. <laughs> yeah. Please okay. Take, Take your things. <laughs> Take your whiskey. Okay, our next guest is like genuinely, truly one of my favorite comedians. She has an amazing special on Netflix out right now called If You Didn't Want Me Then. And if you want to go see her this week, she's got four shows all around Austin. Look her up on the internet. You can find her. It's the amazing, the one and only, Beth, Beth Stelling! Woo! Woo! Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, Beth. Thank you for having me. Um, thank you for coming straight from the airport to us. Happy to do it. Happy to be here. Where it are you flying in from? I was in uh, D.C. area. Okay, brag. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yes, the president needed me there to sort of just give him some notes. I punched up that whole State of the Union thing. Yeah. And oh, thank God it, you it, did. Thank goodness. Thank God yes. you did. Well, he didn't take any of them, I'll be honest. <laughs> no. uh, yeah. But I was, I was there and I was paid. Paid handsomely. <laughs> thank God. Thank goodness. Um, in ice cream. I was there doing shows at Arlington Draft House. Oh, awesome. Man. It was fun. Yes. Found a friend came, a friend sent a friend. They were extremely drunk. I kicked someone out of the show. <gasps> Turns out it was that friend. Oh. No, Isn't that it was the not. worst? How awful. It's always, yeah. Kind of a fun tale. I wish them the best, but they did I, need to go yes. home and eat a loaf of bread immediately. How did you do it? Did you do it in a funny way or did you like go like this to I the bouncer? Did. I did. I said, it's time for you to go. And then I sang a version of Sarah McLaughlin's In the Arms of an Angel as they took her out. <laughs> that's really beautiful. That's really beautiful. It was captured on camera, and uh, it'll because that someone never be needs released. to someone needs to adopt that person like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's gracious of you. Sometimes it's an issue of is this a did something go terribly wrong today, or is this a bit of a wake up call? Back Maybe a rock bottom. You're an incredible stand up. Do you feel because you're also an athlete? Do you feel like being an athlete makes you a better stand up? Hmm. I feel like I was choosing sports this last year over stand-up. Oh, explain. Oh, okay. interesting. Uh, I think it's, it's not one or the other. I ended up playing more pickup games. like Because in, in L.A., I can play Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, typically. But it's at night because people have jobs. Right. Jobs, and the, yes. And yeah, the sport jobs. you play is, is field hockey. That's right. And, oh, my gosh. Speaking of, sorry, this is a tangent. But a guy, a fan, brought a stick he made me. <gasps> To the show on Thursday. It has all my specials on it. Wait, that's Whoa. amazing. It's the sweetest thing in the world. Did, did, did Wait, handcrafted? Yeah, handcrafted. He was very, well, he, he decorated it, but like very nicely. And he was very clear to, you know, and this is my girlfriend, Justine. That's you know, okay. make sure make sure I felt safe. Because that's kind of an intense gift. That's nice. Yeah, that is an intense gift. That's all gift. my specials. Wow, it's beautiful. I know, and he made the bag. Oh my God, he Let likes, me see. Like, oh, legitimately special. Wait, Wait that's, that's amazing. Up. No, if I oh saw my, my wife God. like handcrafting, uh, right, right, right. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are okay, you doing? Yeah, Sorry, no, we're trying to a bit of a tangent. No, but, not at all. Um, okay, so yes, I, I, I play at night, and I was sometimes if I wanted to play the game, and I, I just felt more drawn to it within the last year. And then because of that, someone on my team was like, you should try out for the Masters team this year, the U.S. Women's Masters yeah. team. So I did that. I made the team. And I played in the Pan Am <gasps> Continental Cup in Argentina in December. That's insane. And, uh, and so because cool. I was training for that, I was on the road touring here and there. So I needed to like, I never had to, I don't work out on the road. I, I'm, uh -huh. a, I'm a very, I don't need one way or the other. I'm not like a, athlete comes to me through competition. Like yeah. I, I don't, I, because I was on the road, I had to train alone. And I did it because I didn't want to embarrass myself and our country. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. However, <laughs> when I work out, it's because there's a little thing dangling in front of me. And that's usually like a ball or someone provoking me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell, what, like, what's the master, what makes you a master's? I don't, age. It's age. <laughs> it's age. Yeah, you got to be 35. It's kind of a rule we have. Oh, my God. We're Are masters? That's mm -hmm. what it's Ma called? When, you, so the, any, any team you're playing on for the U.S., if you're representing the U.S. in the master's program, means you're 35 and up. Fast. And there's wow. different age groups. So I could 
I could never play in the 40s until I reach 40s. But if I was in my 40s and very good, I could, t- I could play on the 35s team. Got so it. So you can't play up, but you can play down if you remain in shape. I have a question I've always wanted to watch, uh, ask a field hockey player, and it's, does it kill your back? I have a very strong back. I'm very tall as well. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I'm known for, for getting low, not to brag. Oh, uh, wow. It's one of my, okay. one of my greatest okay. skills. So, I've, so no, it doesn't hurt my back. Really? I have a very strong back, yeah. I and like also, bent over you know, like anything, time. you're supposed to, like, I, it you're supposed to absolutely do it in your legs. But I've seen some footage of myself, and I'm like a you. <laughs> like my, my form is not good. I was like, I basically just, like, drop right in front of someone. But, uh, so, no, yeah, you, my back is, is, is strong. It, it's, I, I've had plenty of injuries, for sure, within the last year of playing. Like, I've had some, I had stitches last fall through here but it was right in my eyebrow you, you could kind of kind of badass though yeah. did you oh, keep did you cool. take a break from playing then or did I just you... had to for it to heal yeah. a little bit um but that was like maybe five stitches this was a glue situation mm-hmm. and then um there's a bit of a maybe that's broken here but it's a rough the ball is hard and the sticks are hard as well so it's not great if you're I mean I perform I didn't think I would have to perform a a black eye ever, but I... I, I was going to ask you. Oh, yeah. my God. Did everyone did you, think you got beaten? What's that? Did everyone think you got, like, beaten? Yes. By, yep. Yeah. And did you have to... <laughs> which, where, which way did you lean in? Because I don't know if I had to pick, like, my right. husband hit me, I got I hit know. in a fight. See, to, like, to me, I'm always, like, I'm always trying to think of the joke that no one would think of. Right, and right, right. that's right. one that nobody laughs at. <laughs> um, <laughs> they want the hacky Kinda joke. Kind of crazy, right? They yeah. want the joke that's like, yeah, you should have seen the other guy or, like... And it's because I didn't make him a sandwich. You know, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I want to hear. Uh, both of those crushed. Um. <laughs> you put both of those crushed with me. I think I said, finally, my face matches my jokes. But no one really laughed. Uh, yeah. I felt okay. it was clever. Blue, dark. Anyway, oh. you get it. I see, yeah, I see. Yeah, I, I see. think the best jokes are the ones you have to explain. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> to this camera, please, right here. <laughs> the Everybody? best jokes. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for finding yeah. that. Have, mm-hmm. you, have you ever dated an athlete? Yes, I mean, I feel like my first boyfriend was the star of our terrible football team. The no, he wasn't the jacks. star. I mean, yeah, yeah the lumberjacks, the exactly, lumberjacks. you know. What yeah. position did he play? Uh, cornerback. I remember that. I don't, think that's, I don't know if that's an important position. I didn't, um, but we would drive home from field hockey. <laughs> a friend would give me a ride home from field hockey, and I'd get out the sunroof and yell like things about number eight until I was asked not to stop doing that because <laughs> they would be practicing in the backfield and I would be like number eight is great or like you know I love eight and he uh, eventually so the coach was like you have to stop <laughs> doing that please I I mean I the little I know you know backstory my nephews go to this high school the high school that I grew up yeah it's not the most so athletically competitive school not. the point of the school is that you can do multiple things and that's mm-hmm. like the selling point like you can play football and then be in the marching band halftime show. Yes. Like that did happen Pretty this cool. Past year. Football yeah. players were in our musical. Yes. Wait, know, I love was, that. It was encouraged. It's really, really, okay, that's really, so really lovely. cool. But it makes it so you're not the most, I don't know about field hockey, but the football team, yeah. not so competitive. I did lead my, say, uh, my team to state for the first time in 15 years. Whoa. Oh, my God. That's hockey. awesome. Um, I was a co-captain. It wasn't just <gasps> me. Yeah, you I were. was going to ask. Beth, this Juliet is. Juliet was with me. I yeah. felt the leadership I coming from you. I love that you know you. the name yeah. right away. Yeah. What's that? I love that you know the name right away. I, yeah, I, Julia I, I think about the people that I played with that were like co-captains with me like kind of often. Yes. I, like I, I, I just saw her in September. She came out to my shows in Salt Lake. Wow. She lives in Salt Lake City now. What but a yes. Unreal. She was, well, we were the Jills. We were, our, our, we were the Lumberjacks. Yes, yes, you were the Jills. Our year, we got on David Letterman because of one of our... Holy wait, no, I, We didn't, our school did, because remember when David used to read the silly... Headlines that were uh-huh. poorly written. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Ours was Oakwood Jacks off uh, to a great start. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, my <laughs> that stinks. My wife was a softball player and she went to Australia in high school. And the local newspaper, like two, two her and another girl, went to Australia for softball. Mm-hmm. And the he- local headline was Two, girl, two local girls go down under. <laughs> <laughs> How could they do that it's to us? Great. How, How could they do, they do we that to us? That. We gotta send that to David. Just <laughs> to his personal <laughs> mailing address. Yeah. I, 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 please, please. I don't think you've ever been asked this before, and I don't think ever anyone's ever asked it. What's it like to be a straight female athlete? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like well, a minority? We don't have yeah. that experience at all. Do you and have- it's, 
<laughs> We're the majority of I here. mean, do you have yeah. to tell people, like, sorry, yeah. I'm, not gay. <laughs> I'm not gay? I, I feel like it's more like, no one's ever, you know, bec- thankfully, everybody on my team, I've never been in a place where I felt like, I don't know, strange whatsoever. I think there's been a there's been a mix. <laughs> Thank God they make I feel you feel like normal I fit in. Me, yeah. Too. Well, I well think about it. If it was a, I don't know. I don't want to assume things about another gender, but it's like if it was flipped, there might be a little different. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, yeah. I, I, I yes. don't really feel. I f- always feel feel good and safe. I, if anything, it's other gay friends of mine being like, "Hey, I've got some friends wondering when you're gonna be gay." You know, <laughs> yeah, which yeah, is yeah. fair for them to just ask. kind of let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Appropriate and okay. Yeah, yeah. very. It's 2024. Okay. I think that's a very good question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, when are you gonna come around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. just yeah. let us know. Come around, come out. Yeah, but um, yeah. I mean, of course, I've written jokes about it, especially field hockey. Yeah, we're known, yeah, we're known yes. for, yeah, for um, you know, getting down. Well, <laughs> getting down and getting low. <laughs> well, we'd love to play a little game with you Ooh. before we. Mm. Okay, I'd love to. so. I feel like we've come up with a lot of fun scenarios Yeah. that I think would kind of make things hard for you to answer. So we're going to play a little bit of sports round of Would You Rather. Okay, put okay. me through it. All right. Shall we? Uh, yes. Okay, would, would you rather lose publicly, mm-hmm. but you made it onto Sports Center, mm. or win an NCAA title, but you Thank can't you. tell anyone about it? Lose mm. publicly. Lose publicly, but, but you, you made you, it on the sports. You on sports center. You did made I, it on the top ask, ten. Can I ask questions? Or? Yes. yes. Did I have Why a good? Not, ge- did I have a good game? No. When we lost, did I have a good game? Oh, no. that's you. Oh. Well, that's a good question. That is a good question. Because like, if I if this footage is of me like killing it, then hundred percent put me on sports center. <laughs> if yeah. If we if I played terribly, I don't want to be on sports center. And I, I lost. <laughs> right. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Like, you know, that line is, like, I'm, girl's worst player of yeah. all time. Yeah. Because uh, we made it to state, which was a huge feat for our little team. Uh-huh. Um, but then we played terribly. I mean, we got our, our butts handed to us. Because it, we played private schools when we were in private school. It's like, yeah. and, and in my head, I was like, well, they just wake up and they are always playing yeah. together. And the field hockey sticks are made of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I can't keep up. But um, I, it was a horrible feeling to get to that get that far and then just not be able to cut it. So that yeah. would be a hor- I wouldn't want to be on Sports Center if I'm if I'm playing bad. <sighs> okay. Okay, then so you will so just go you can't tell just, anyone. Yeah, but people are going to find out. It's going to be in the record book. Oh. oh yeah. And you can't <laughs> mention it which is even cooler. Yeah, okay. Here's one. Um would you rather be proposed to at half court in the middle of your championship game? You did not see it coming. Or jump out of a plane. <laughs> <laughs> and, you re- and you've only been dating this person for like six months. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say that uh, I'd rather jump out of a plane. Yeah. 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 See, we all kind of said Mostly that. Mostly yes. because it's like I'm, I'm working here. You know? right. If you know exactly. me, you know exactly. that I'm, I need to keep my head in the game here. And I want to focus. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to just finish the game out. And if you want to take me to friendlies afterwards oh my God, I used to go Sunday, to friendlies too. and then leave the ring in yeah. the Sunday at the end of the cone head then maybe I'm gonna say yes Consider even it, if it yeah. has been six months <laughs> yeah are you listening <laughs> <laughs> all right would you rather wear an underwire bra to sleep every single <laughs> night <laughs> or sit in a room every day with a bunch of men who say let me teach you a little something about field hockey Okay, well, I have been in a writer's room uh, for television, so <laughs> I am... Okay, you get it. You get so it. you know. So I didn't even hear the first one, honestly. I just yeah. was remembering all the times I've been um, asked if I want to learn about something I already know about. Yeah. What was the first Wear one? Wear an sleep. underwire oh, bra. underwire bra. To, to sleep, sleep every, every night. night. You cannot take You're that not bra off, off to sleep. I'm, I, and then how long do I have to be in the writer's room? I think, this I is think the these are both, room. like, for the rest these of your life. These forever. are both forever. And like, let me tell you about some... Look, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose the let me tell you something about field hockey because really? I'm open to learning things that are new. I said that. But I you said know that it. Say I that. do you know, know it, it. But, but I will say, like, having just played in high school, I played on grass. Like, when I first entered the program and even started playing again, I mean, I played on grass with a wooden stick. They looked at me like I was a relic. I was like a <laughs> witch. And so I play on turf now, and I have, like, an updated, like, composite stick. And so there's always things for me to learn, and, I, and I'm willing to learn it from men. 
Hey, wow. do, what, just when this in post, can we cut that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our first straight guest is it's really, 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 it's really willing being to like, learn from I men. I can't wait to Sometimes learn from men. men. Men have things to offer as well. Oh, yeah. Beth, come on. But you're lucky a lot of them are facing the other way. <laughs> <laughs> or we you're would lucky, escort lucky, you off. Uh, they can't hear women's <laughs> voices talking in unison. <laughs> even, when I, even when we're amplified. <laughs> Too okay. bad. Um, it's already gone. Okay, next okay. one. Would you rather watch a women's World Cup final mm-hmm. in a box with Rihanna? It's just you two. It's like a sports box. Just it's so not you know, like I was picturing cage. a brown box, but yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. We're okay. talking okay. about a sports, sports box. box. Yeah. Like a fancy and VIP sports box she's with She's feeling very chatty. Yeah, she's talking. She's in a chatty mood. Okay. And she's spilling secrets. Ooh. Or have her sing an album she'll never release just to you. <laughs> uh, right? I know. I'm choosing the album. Are you kidding? Well, <laughs> you'll Beth. never hear it again. You'll never hear it again. Beth, I have to, I have to ask you to really <laughs> drop in right now. Drop in yeah, and think yeah, about how not. uncomfortable it would be to be in a room with someone being like, da da boost and the da 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 do Just you. Just you. No one else around. Let me get that one, one, one. Okay, that's true. Because I'm someone who like genuine, even a lap dance, like, like that will, that is a little sometimes too too much. A, a little sometimes too much? Yeah, it's too much. I one, go to space. Yes, yes I don't, we don't need to tell the story, but I, <laughs> there is a story around. It doesn't matter. We'll have you I've on just another been, time. I've been faced with like a, do you want to lap dance? And then like a, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was actually like this. Like that, and I was like, oh no. So yeah, I guess you're kind of right. Maybe that would be uncomfortable. No, I mean, it's, it's up to you. It's just, you know. Yeah, okay, yeah. she's just talking to me during the game. We're just trying a thing. We just had Jess Robertson on, and 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 when Jess said that this is actually what you should pick, we were like, okay, this yeah, is yeah, what we'll yeah. do now. Yeah. And so we're just, when you tell us what you want to do, we're just going to say that uh, you were wrong. <laughs> and see if you come around. So we're just kind of, we're practicing okay, bullying. Okay, yes. switching to the box. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather... This is, oh, uh, this I is really love one. this yeah, one. Yeah, this one's hard. Would you rather go to your boyfriend's open mic night every night for the rest of your life yep. and all the jokes are about your sex life or go to your boyfriend's kickball game every night for the rest of your life? Their team name is Balls Deep and you're in charge of making snacks. Kickball! <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Wow, so easy for you. Oh, you yeah. yeah. Do an open mic. I would have so much fun. At the kickball game? Yeah, but yeah. then the, every night for the rest of the life, he, his team never wins, but you have to be like, good job, babe. You did great. You well, did maybe really he well. did, though. Maybe he was, like, really good that game. <laughs> okay. Your, your positivity <laughs> is the Our first straight <laughs> guest. <laughs> you should have seen me at a softball game a couple of weeks ago. He had to tell me to actually to tone it down a bit. I was screaming my head off. The other team was intimidated and actually worked and helped. It did you help? win? Did you win? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. yeah! Well, and I guess if you love the man, then Balls <laughs> Deep is a fun name for the team. Okay. This is shocking. We got a culture barrier Latin. here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of good to expose yourself to different. I feel. Things. I wish we you. had like See, a. Tra- I we wish we had Yeah. I we wish we learn. had like a translator up here for for everything that you're I'm saying. I'm the translator. <laughs> you are the translator. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rip it. We've got one more for you. Okay. okay. Would you rather free bleed at a winning match at Wimbledon? Wait. Mm-hmm. This one's for the men. <laughs> <laughs> you're in all white. Okay. Or put in an applicator-free Ultra Plus tampon on a very dry day. Huh. How long's Wimbledon again? <laughs> like how long's the match? I got my period at my college orientation wearing a white skirt, actually. Whoa. Sitting you did? Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like Wimbledon. Yeah, a lot like Wimbledon. It is a lot like Wimbledon. Yeah. The grass is nice. The free bleed. I mean, the free bleed sounds fun. Yeah. Uh huh. And it and it would be mm-hmm. in the pattern of. But here's Prince the thing. Harry's Sho- face. I will say yeah. this: shoving it up is fine. Shoving it, up a, a, an, an ultra? ultra plus on a what dry you, day. Yeah. What you didn't say was ripping it right out right away. So oh, I, the shove up so, is better. Yeah. So I can just put it in there. No big deal. Shoving it up is it's fine. Better. Yeah, that's fine. Just whoop. yeah. Yeah. If, but if it's he, the pull out that really. Yeah. Makes you me never. Want it's to it's we pull said up. applicator free. Yeah. Did you check that? That's fine. You Happy hour. Say, if you I'm, leave I, here with anything, sometimes. just remember <laughs> pulling it. Pulling it out is worse. Yeah. 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 Putting it, it is fine. Pulling it out is way worse. Yeah. It is like the dry. It's like a microfiber cloth. Like just like yeah. 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 
I don't know. I think sometimes the worst part is just like being fisted by the wad of cotton, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. knowing I'm, that later you're going to have to I'm do it. No, 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 no. I'm a pad. I'm, I'm a pad gal. I love a pad. I'm free bleeding at Wimbledon, boy. Yeah. I know. I am too. That's what I'm getting. Look, I am I too. I thought about it, but here's what I uh, came to. I'm fine with it if I'm standing. That's kind of fun mm-hmm. in it, almost like a horror film way, like just yeah. beautiful yeah, down my legs go. Yeah. Yeah. and into my shoes. And <laughs> but if I'm sitting, it's hot, it's sticky. Then it gets a little stick, and then the seat is filled. That's kind of where I guess it's yo, a, you really went there. Yeah. Yeah. Ultra, oh. ultra plus for us, I yep. guess. It's gonna be the ultra plus fingers. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, okay. Well, then I guess one last question. While we asked Jess, what we've yes. all answered before. Who do you want to be power slapped by? It can be a man. It can be a man, but we won't like it. But it can be. It can I, be. I, I'm sorry. I have to set some boundaries. It cannot be a man. <laughs> <laughs> it cannot. That's you, fine because it's actually Jonathan Lipnicki in what? Jerry Maguire. <laughs> so Whoa. it's a, so it's not a man. It's a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> it's, a boy. it's Jonathan Lipnicki in <laughs> Jerry Maguire. <laughs> And you know what, Beth? I'm imagining he's slapping he you when he's on the luggage cart. So he keeps going giggling. around in a circle. No, he's uh, slapping he's you from giggling, the luggage. And he's like this. <laughs> and he's like, it's the sweetest little hand on my face. <laughs> that's a beautiful, yeah, that's a beautiful shocking hand. He's so cute. Answer. And I do agree. I like. I, I, you, I do just, agree. I, you do agree. You do agree, Jonathan Lipnicki. You wow, do agree. the tides are really turning here for me. They are really turning for a lot of us. I do. There's something I've about dated that game, men. Yeah. I've dated men. Okay, and I think it's coming out right now. <laughs> We've all dated one by accident. I know, we all have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, we also accept your lifestyle, and we're thank just you. happy you're yeah, healthy. We're, thank we're, you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't that what we you said? We hope it's been a safe space for We just you. want you taken care of. We just want you taken care of. Yeah. It has been. I am. What a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much to Beth yes, and, thank her you. and her yeah. boyfriend. And her boyfriend. And to Jess. Yes. Give it up for Jess Robertson and thank Beth you for having me. Yes. You guys have been so it was awesome. awesome. And you've been so, wait, we have to give our... Do we have our... Oh, my God. Yeah, you think we sorry, didn't get to Oh, we have your Beth, gift. Beth, we have I'm your so gift, sorry. too. Yeah, I kind of saw this gift. Wow, another like, Air Norbis Smackdown you... bop cool. bag. There it is. Yeah. Can another. you believe we could afford two of this those? This is Can rad. you imagine? Our producer, Harry, let us buy these. Thank you, Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Harry? Over there. Thank in you, blue, Harry. Harry. He and here is your Slaps Lollipop yes. yeah. Tropical Mix for Use you. Use that however you want. Wow. Wow. It's <laughs> definitely, it's definitely yeah. flimsier than I yeah. expected. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Pretty, it's I would not soft. use that for slaps. I actually think you'll get hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I appreciate Beth, it. Beth, you're doing shows like, oh, yeah, all yeah. week I'll long, be, right? I'll be here. Esther's Follies tonight at 8. I'm on Doug Loves Movies tomorrow. Some other place and a couple other places as well. Yeah, go see Beth. Beth She's yeah. an incredible stand up. If you don't see Beth, you're an idiot. Which yeah. We're allowed to say. We checked. Just watch yeah. my special on Netflix. It's called If You Didn't Want Me, Ben. Ooh. Ooh. The drama. Ooh. Thank you for joining Thank us, Beth. Thank, Thank you. And we're jocular. And we're jocular. Oh, yeah. We're jocular. We're jocular. We Thank you, everybody. We Thank you so much, Southwest. Thank you, Tian Tran and Katie Kershaw. Ooh. Think about who you want to be slapped by. Yeah. And then come talk to us.